Welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes and today we will be doing engine flush and we'll be using Liquid Molly's engine flush high tech addictive anyway so the car has already reached 300,000 kilometer let's have a look at that okay so we overshot by 227 kilometers because it was the long weekend and I needed to use the car and I couldn't find time to actually do it until today, which is a working day. So, we'll be flushing the engine and I will show you the proper way of doing it. Most workshops will probably just throw this in, run the engine and drain the oil and put new oil. Now, I'm going to say this, that will actually damage your car more than it does um, make it better. So, I will show you the proper way, alright? So first off, we will drain the engine oil first. And to do that, we'll jack the car, make sure it's on jack stands, and let's do the draining. We'll close the drain pan and we will re replace the oil filter. And now to take out the oil filter using a TikTok trick I learned, the cup. And now refill with fresh oil. Okay, so now that we have gotten the fresh engine oil in, we will pour in the engine flush. Liquid moly engine flush, expensive stuff, make sure you get every single drop of it in. Make sure you wipe this, make sure it's clean here, then close it. Now we'll lower down the car. Okay, so what we need to do now after the oil change and then putting the engine flush into the new oil is that we need to get the engine up to operating temperature. Then we will go for a 5 to 10 minutes spirited drive, which means now we drive like we stole the car all right keep the rpi up you don't really need to keep the speed up okay and i will come back to you shortly let me enjoy this all right okay so we have done about 12 minutes of spirited driving uh up and down of the rpm and we have gone about 11 kilometers so what we'll do right now is we'll let the engine cool down and then we'll change the oil and I will show you um, the filter as well okay so be right back okay so we are done this is the new oil filter and this is the old oil filter as you can see here it's pretty disgusting uh, whatever that comes out is actually pretty black you can see how dirty it is all right I hope you can see the sediments in there coming out of it and this is after 10 minutes of running same here okay and this is pretty thick as well and whatever that comes out from here is also well disgusting okay so this would be the engine oil the 
old and the new. <coughs> if you look at the color, it's actually the same, which is disgusting. Okay, and this is the engine flush that we use, liquid moly. All right, I'm not sponsored. Our oil filter is from Mitsubishi MZ690115. Two of it. Okay, so you must be thinking, what's the difference between my way of flushing the engine oil versus the me uh, mechanics one? So for the mechanic, when it's time for you to change your oil, they just throw one bottle of this in, run it for 10 minutes, drain it, and put new one, and you're, you're gone. Now, I would think that that would not be uh, quite ideal. Even though the, in the instruction on the engine flush says to do that, but I don't think that is ideal because when you're doing the engine flush, you there's a high chance of you flushing all the sediments inside the filter back into your engine oil and then cycle around your engine. Now, that's something that you do not want. Now, the difference between mine, my method is fresh oil, fresh filter. Filter is not clog up with sediments so it will trap all the sediments that is dislodged using the engine flush so you get a better uh, flushing though it's a bit more pricey because you have to pay for another uh, can of oil and a filter but for the sake of your engine why not my engine has been about 300,000 uh, kilometers so far the only thing that I have done for the engine besides changing the spark plug is to change the rocker cover gasket and that was about three years ago other than that i have not had any issues with the engine and this is actually my first engine flush mind you um i wouldn't say that the engine performance is bad it's actually pretty much the same as when i first got it the basic thing that you need to know about maintaining your engine is make sure you use the proper oil in this case, for the 4B11, it could be uh, 5W30, 10W30, or 5W40, 10W40. So I used to use uh, 40, uh, viscosity 40, but I've, I've since changed to 30. Um, the 40 was semi-synthetic, and the 30 is fully synthetic. I kind of like the full synthetic. <clears throat> well... Overall, this takes about 3 hours because I need to have the engine cool down. Um, yeah, very basic. Very basic DIY, something that you can do, just that you have to jack the car up twice. Now, time for me to do some cleanup. I have to just wash the oil, throw away uh, this oil into the can, and then send it to the workshop to recycle. Do not dump this into the drain, alright? Even though you, you're not caught, it's not good for the environment. Do not dump this into the drain. And this one, I'll just drain it off and then throw it into the dustbin. Okay. So, as usual, if you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike, you know what to do. But leave us a comment down below on, on what you want to see improve on. And if you have not done so, and I believe most of you have not done so, make sure you hit the subscribe, like, and bell button so you get notified on our next upload, which will be quite interesting, I hope. So, till then, I will see you again.